hello, I want to be honest, so I'm going to be honest about some things. Um, I just made this video twice, and both times it like didn't get off the ground, or three times or something. It was like, uh, uh, gotta get some water, oh, my computer froze, it shut down, oh. I think my ambition got the best of me, and I didn't see it until today. Um, because I've always been ambitious in my life. I've always been silently ambitious, quietly ambitious. I don't really talk about what I want long term much, but I have a plan, a goal. I don't want to take over the world, but I want to take under the world, which I just thought coming out of a car. Kind of like putting it up on my shoulders instead of being the puppet master and carry it a little. Carry it. Or, you know, lift people up so they can bridge the gap, so they can cross. My name's Crossland. Cross. Um. But I spent a long time being public. I thought, I think, it's when something, you know, when you look at something for a long time and you're looking at it and it doesn't change because you're looking at it, but then when you look away, you, it seems to change. You look back and it's different. That, that kind of experience, I think most people seem to have had it or can identify with it, like wa watching water boil conceptually. Because when we, when we watch it, we've got an idea of what it is as we're watching it. So it, I believe it maintains that because we see it, we believe it's that, so it, maintain, it continues to be that. When you look away, it has an opportunity to change and reset itself and be something new, be whatever it, is, be whatever it wants to be. Can reform on its way, and these videos up online. So that led me to believe, like inductively, then if someone's watching me, I'm less able to change or less likely to change. So I've got all this video footage of me up on footage. They call it like a footing on a cliff, like you're climbing, like we're climbing. It's footage. It's there. It's documented. You can build on it. It's there. It's hardened, and I think. What is happening is people will watch it and believe that's me now. Like someone will get up, like watch a video from a year ago of me stoned, and, and they'll think, this guy is a whacked out stoner. And I'll wake up that in the morning, right then in that moment, and in my mind I'll think about weed. I'll think, oh, I smoke weed. It's not that I want to smoke weed. Part of it is probably that I've done it before and I like how it feels and I want to feel that again. But part of it I'm, probably is that someone in the world right now is thinking, that guy is a stoner. That guy smokes weed. So I, it's affecting me. And I'm, even though I'm not hearing it, it's the, the thought pattern is there. It's the, the wavelength is there flowing through all the stuff, the world and everywhere. And it's affecting me. So all these ideas... All these things about my past, people are seeing them now and believing that that's me now. And they may still be aware that it was in the past, but they'll be listening to it now as if it's me talking. And it's impeding my ability to change, I think. Or it's impeding my ability to change in a, in a way that I want to change in a certain way. I want a, some freedom. So I'm thinking about, don't freak out, but I'm thinking about taking the videos down or canceling the accounts. I thought about it earlier, thinking about it right now. And moving on, creating it, recreating it, recreating myself into what I want to be, which is not a drugged out stoner or an alcoholic, or a gay person. I was going to say such derogatory things. I was going to say fag. Dude, really. I was going to say gay person, and then fag came into my mind, because I didn't say gay person. Like, I got angry at myself for being afraid of that concept. But I don't want to have sex with guys. I don't want to shoot heroin. I don't want to smoke weed. I don't want to drink alcohol. I want to live with animals and plants and harmony. In the woods, maybe. In a city. There's a lot of stone in the city. 
a lot of stone, rock, metal. I think metal's a kind of stone. Stone's a kind of metal, maybe. I don't know, they're all like elements. Stone is probably like a certain elemental combination. Probably could consist of metal. But I don't know when stone becomes stone. I mean, I should just look it up, you know. I'll look it up later. Today. Maybe. I'll look it up. So then, it's kind of, it's a debate in my mind about what to do here. What direction to go. Leaving it up isn't so passive as I thought. It's real. It's there. It's active. All the people in the movies and things like Robert De Niro, we have an, I have an idea of what I think Robert De Niro is based on the films I've seen of him. This poor guy is like so quiet and so, God, it probably has this wild open personality that most people don't fathom that he might have because they, they think they know who he is because they've seen footage of him. But, but people are more of an open book of a resilient container, a, a resilient curvature, a convex reflector. So we're getting light from all angles and sending it out, kind of like a planet. And I can do that stuff now. I can, I can have this, this wild imagery, this strange metaphoric imagery that before I ever took THC in my system and had that like I didn't really get it. I never listened to Jimi Hendrix. I didn't like the music much of Dave Matthews or like the music just, I hear it, I think it's kind of boring. The Doors, boring. The Zeppelin was boring. But after I started smoking weed and getting that THC and this melatonin dream-like experience, this, this, those particular people's music, Hendrix and Dave Matthews and The Doors and... Uh, Fuck was the fourth Zeppelin. They started to resonate in a different way. And I thought, oh, I get it now. It's a feeling. It's an image. It's an imagery. It's not like music, like uh, Ben Folds. For Ben Folds is floating around there. I think he probably does experiments with drugs a little bit. Even the Beatles. I used to like the Beatles. Okay, some of their big hits. I liked Penny Lane and Strawberry Fields. But then after I started listening to it while I was high, I don't, I don't like the word stoned and high either, because you're not really either one of those things. Stoned implies that you, they're your days because you've been bashed over the head with a stone, or you, people have been throwing stones at you, and you're like, oh, where am I? And high implies that, you have eleva that you're elevated in some fashion, that you're like, I'm above everything. But it's not like that. It's more of a dream. I'm dreaming when, I, when I'm having that experience. And when I'm dreaming, the Beatles music, all of it, it like, wa washes into me and like, I get it, I understand, oh my god, it's not really grounded in the hard reality, but it's an idea, it's, it's more of an idea. It's the way they play it. That's what it is, it's the way they play it. And it's not the sound itself, it's not what is there, it's the way they play it that becomes very interesting with all those, the doors the same way, you know. And if you don't know, then it'll be up for you to find on your own, if you want to. Because I can't explain to you how you would feel. It's your job. I don't advocate drug use or alcohol use. I don't advocate suicide. I don't advocate eating. I don't advocate drinking. I just do these things sometimes. Oh, not suicide. I like to live. I've been around people that have had suicidal tendencies and have attempted suicide, and I've been able to hold strong in face of it and help them to heal by being calm and not being afraid of that. You know, in Futurama, the TV show, they have suicide booths. I guess maybe the government should legalize it if people want to do it. You know, it's kind of like an individual's choice, but I'm, I'm not into that, man. We can survive easily, easily, easily with a little bit of communication really helps if you know your parents. It helps me that I know my parents, because like, when all else fails, talk to your parents.
that's good. I'll remember that one. I'll probably call them soon. I think they're going to come out to L.A. to visit for a little bit in May or something. Okay, so there's a little... I want to keep going. I'm going to keep going. 